my name is Saul, and I'm here representing Little Villazondo High School Poetry Slam team. And we're born out of struggle, and the struggle continues. And my piece is entitled, An Ode to a Memory Forgotten, But Not Lost. It never was like the flickered scenes in the Disney Channel movies I'd watched in my aunt's house during the summer nights I'd stay there. Where no one knew me and I could build a new life as if I was running away from something. And I guess I was running away from something because going back home and going back to school where I am an outsider looking in. It all started with quiet murmurs passing through harsh lips, syllabled in tradition, a religious expedition through adolescent conformity engulfed in Christian family values. My trauma began in seventh grade math class, having a staring contest with an unassuming fire escape. There, then, I began counting down from ten. Nine. Is this when life finally gets me? It often feels like a fleeting memory. Is this really the end of me? Beginning to walk, watching my feet dance along to melody, reaching my teacher's desk, and laying a note on it. Hey, I'm suffocating, but I've never felt so alive. Inhale, exhale. The beating of my heart, palpable, fallible to emotions, running sick like blood into trembling hands and feet. Seven, it was your fault. You watched me, talked to me, heard everything I said and said nothing. You didn't lead me to the fire escape, but you didn't stop me either. Six, do you think I'll make the news? Probably not. You know, it's a nice thought, but no one's gonna care. So what's the point? Five, I don't mean to be so morbid. It is easy to pretend that rose-colored glasses can fix everything, but it can't when I'm finally reaching my end. Or, I'm sorry, uh, I didn't want it to be like this. I was left with no other option. I quiero mucho, my I open the door. Three. There never was a two or a one. The moment I opened that door, my manager pulled me right back in. I think about the moment every day as if I'm reliving it. And I wish I could tell her, thank you. Because without her, I wouldn't be here to tell you this story. Thank you.